In today's video, I'm going to show you the exact concept we used for one of our $4,000 chatbots to integrate a search engine within VoiceFlow. Before I'm diving into the details, I'm going to show you an example right here on the screen. So let's just start a conversation with a simple chatbot. And as you can see, we're getting asked to choose and we from one of our buttons and we choose get latest news. And now I'm basically able to type in something about whatever I would like to read today from wherever in the web. So I'm just deciding to check for the latest crypto trends, for example. So once I click enter, you will see See that in the back we do a lot of stuff and you will see three results coming back latest crypto bitcoin news here's what happened in crypto today and coindesk bitcoin ethereum crypto news so if i would like to read about something i just click on the link and it literally opens it up and i can just continue reading and this works literally for any kind of keywords you can use whatever with it so i'm just going to demonstrate it again with something else let's say we would like to read more about oil prices let's maybe maybe make it even more specific in the uk something like that so now we basically run a search in the backend that fetches us the latest information we can find on a specific search engine and it display all the information here including all of the links so this specific concept uses something called programmable search engines by google which we incorporate into our voice flow chatbot to display automatically specific informations that we predefine within a specific logic i'm going to show you now so stay tuned to get started we are heading over to our voice flow template and as you can see it is fairly small and this is literally everything we need there's nothing else there are no other components whatsoever so we just quickly go over the steps and i'm going to explain you the things along the way so first of course we have a button that says get latest news which comes here and then captures our specific keyword we save that one in a variable called news type and then we are taking this specific variable and send it to an api request and as you can see here already it sends it to customsearch.googleapis.com so if you haven't known about it before google actually offers you a way to set up your very very own search engine within google it is completely for free you can just use it anytime so try it out for yourself and to get there you simply head over to programmablesearchengine.com and create a search engine there which then looks something like this here so as you can see i have a demo engine that contains a public url so i can literally just go over here and i can search something in a very very basic version of the search engine so i can say stuff like crypto trends and it will search the stuff specifically for my needs and while that works well we don't want that visual way because we want to use it for automation so there is something really cool if you scroll down at the very end of the specific search engine you can see programmatic access and this is literally a free api you can use to get results from your custom search engine that you can configure even for specific domains you want to fetch information from and whatsoever it's amazing so all you do is you click on get started it opens a new page and here you are requested to get a key which is the api key that you need for the request so you click on it you go through the steps, you copy the API key, and then you head into the API request within VoiceFlow. We click on it and we have a couple of parameters here that we configured, which first of all is the endpoint. Then we also have a parameter Q, which stands for query, which is where we type in the keyword that we added from within our chatbot. We also add in the key for this specific search engine along with the search engine ID, which is the ID that we can find within our programmable search engine up here. And as well, number of results we want to get back in our case three, and then a sorts, which sorts for dates, and for the relevancy so the w point s stands for the strength so we basically want to get the most relevant content for it and lastly we are capturing the response we are taking the items key from the json that we get and we save that to a variable called news once we have done that we literally have already all the news available from that specific keyword we had within here so all we need to do now is basically validate those specific keywords and put them into variables so we can use them within cards inside of voice flow so what i did first of all is i went to the variable and I created a bunch of variables here which look like that so we have the thumbnail for news one the title and the URL we do the same for the second news entry and the same thing for the third one. Once we have done that, we head into JavaScript and we literally just do some simple mapping of the values to these specific variables. So for example, if they exist, where they are, and if not, then we just add some empty information, etc. So once that is done, we head into the next block, which is literally the cards. So when clicking on it, we can just open that. And as you can see, we just add those variables dynamically. And we also add a button which says read more. And when clicking on it, we have an action for open 
opening the URL, which again contains the variable for the URL of that specific item. And that's literally it. This is the way how you configure it. I then just connect it to a block that goes back to the start or it ends the conversation. So in the end, it's a very, very simple process, but something you probably didn't know. So I suggest you to check it out. You can configure it in many ways. You can even say you want to output maybe five or six different templates or maybe just one or two of those specific entries from the search engine. So you can do many, many things and it is just a super, super powerful tool, even if you want to get the latest information. So instead of just using AI to fetch the information, you can literally just go and type in a keyword, fetch that information from Google and display it and validate it with AI to display it in a nice manner within your chatbot. So you kind of have always access to the latest information in the first place, even though the AI might not support it. And that's literally it for the setup itself. If you want to get the templates, all of them are available within our resource hub for free. So you simply head over to hub.indicraticus.com, create an account there completely for free, and you get access to all of our templates from all of our videos we have ever done. So definitely check it out. It's 100% worth it. And if you have further questions regarding those setups, feel free to just drop me a message down below in the comments, and I'm very happy to help you out.